What's up everyone and welcome to Ola Testing Today I'm trying out the new Jackson Jeff Loomis SL7 signature guitar. So one or two years back I made a review of the Kelly Jeff Loomis guitar. That was a six string guitar and I think, you know, what he would be using for Arch Enemy for instance. Now this, this SL7 is what I want to see from Jeff Loomis to be honest. Like back to the Nevermore style, you know, he had his signature going with Schecter. This is the replacement for that guitar right here. It has a basswood body with a swamp ash top or veneer which is sandblasted. It has a maple neck, ebony fretboard, luminate side dots, Jackson tuners, the Floyd Rose 1500 bridge, and the Seymour Duncan Jeff Loomis blackouts. Active pickups, hello. One pickup switch, one volume. That's all you need, baby. Made in Korea, may I add. I'm trying out the Jeff Loomis SL7 through uh, Max on... Uh, no, Ibanez. No, it's the Ibanez TS-808. And these are the settings, if you can see, it's with a slight bit of overdrive, level is at max, tone is at like one o'clock, okay? That goes into my tremolo verb. Oh, I haven't played this amplifier in a long time, but it's one of my favorite rectifiers I've ever owned. It's one of those early bastards that just sound incredibly awesome. And that goes into my Mesa Oversize 4x12. That's a Neumann TLM 102 microphone. I also have a stereo microphone, of course. Uh, let's go, man. I'm ready to chug some Nevermore. Shit, man. This neck is insanely thin. Can you see how thin it is? No? Well, it's, it's really thin. I'm just telling you. Very flat, very D-shaped. Made for shredding, baby. Oh my god, man, that sounds sick. I love this amplifier. Okay. I'm not completely sure what the variation on this blackout is compared to a regular Seymour Duncan blackout, but I'm really liking how it sounds. <laughs> Oh, a little out of tune. Well, let's fix that. Ooh, 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 
あっ<笑>25 and a half inch. I think it might be a 25 and a half inch scale length. It feels uh, it feels shorter for some reason. I don't know. Really easy to shred on. All right, let's shut off the overdrive. I just want to try. Actually, not that bad. But let's go back. Wow, a little surprise ending right there. Holy shit, guys. This was a lot of fun to play this guitar. I'm not usually playing 7-string that often, but I didn't necessarily feel that this was a 7-string compared to, you know, 6-strings. It, it plays really easy. And also that deep sandblasting right there in that finish is just really, really awesome. You know, there's just something about a classic-looking black guitar with white binding right there. It goes back you know, to my Ibanez MTM2 that I had. It's just, it's just such a classic look for a metal guitar. And it looks so, so classy. Classy is the word I'm looking for. There you go, that's a Jackson SL7 for you right there. Jeff Loomis, he plays an arch enemy now. Nevermore, sick as f If you like this video, maybe put a thumbs up. That helps with the algorithm. Even like putting a thumbs down helps with the algorithm too. So, either way, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. See you next time, goodbye.